There's inspiration in every glance and every breeze. Welcome to Space Station. Not good. This is serious. The security department will do whatever we can to help you. A list of the missing researchers and their details. Sure, but the security department already combed through their backgrounds and personal relationships. We didn't find anything odd. The Annihilation Gang are a group of die-hard thugs. They might be attacking indiscriminately. A list of the missing researchers and their details. Okay. Take it. Remember these names. Find a friend who's tuned into the gossip around here and tell them you want to know the relationship between these people. I don't know. That depends on your friend. What else do you need me to do? Take me to the one who knows the most about curios within the Department of Ecology, if you would be so kind. <sighs> he... he disappeared too. I didn't really notice at first. Adler's difficult to get a hold of at the best of times. But it's been a few system hours and I still can't reach him. Even the surveillance cameras can't find any trace. The last time I saw him was in the Master Control Zone. He was with Wen Sherling from the Department of Implement Arts. Lead the way. You said Adler was on the verge of a discovery, yet couldn't confer his knowledge. Intriguing and frustrating, to say the least. If his disappearance is also related to the case here, then maybe he really did stumble upon something... important. True. The key words that got Adler thinking were energy life forms. Duke Inferno is also an energy life form. Coincidence? We need to investigate this. Jerk! 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 Fine! Disappear! I don't ever want to see your face again! Adler, he... he disappeared! <laughs> he, he's been acting really weird recently. Always researching stuff like spontaneous combustion, supernatural activities. He doesn't 
doesn't even answer me when I speak to him. He, he was talking to himself. What did he talk about? He kept saying the word phrase. Phrase. Who said I want him back? But if you want to find him, he was reading this booklet the last time I saw him. I don't know exactly what he's searching for, but I hope it can help you. Your countenance suggests tragedy. So the researchers who disappeared were at the forefront of challenging management. Isn't that a curious puzzle piece? I finished browsing through this booklet while you were replying to messages. It recorded the lives of a few Genius Society members. I'd say it contains some interesting information. It's time to go back and chat with Lady Asta and Mr. Scrulum. You're back. I've been monitoring the dark web. I barely managed to stop the video from spreading. The incident hasn't grown any bigger, for now. How are things with you? <sighs> Less than promising. Or to use a different phrase, we're in deep trouble. We're running out of time. Let's retrace our steps and evaluate the situation. From the data we've collected, there are three avenues we can explore. First, Adler's disappearance. He must have come across some vital information. Adler also. You think that Adler's discovery drew the enemy's attention? Indeed, and I already know what he found. First, Adler's disappearance. He must have come across some vital information. I am 
understand. So the ant- Tenuous connections. First, Adler's disappearance. He- I understand. Tenuous connection. First, Adler's disappearance. He must have come across some vital information. The next angle is what the victims have in common. Distasteful as that discussion may be. Distasteful discussion? A mere glance at their background would indicate they share no commonalities. However, after browsing through their online records, you discover they all wield influence on the space station's dark web. Lady Asta must know what this means. Hmm. The next angle is what the victims have in common, distasteful as that discussion may be. I understand. Tenuous connection. The next angle is what the victims have in common, distasteful as that discussion may last, is the abilities of Duke Inferno and the secret of spontaneous human combustion. You probably already know about this. The Fire Demon of Fatora, the Duke of the Annihilation Gang. There is another secret with Ifrit. Last is the abilities of Duke Inferno and the secret. During prior unrest instigated by the Everflame Mansion, some testify to seeing miscreants materialize from the Inferno. The flickering tongues of Duke Inferno's fire carrying a certain property, and this property is the secret behind spontaneous human combustion. Look, the answer is right there. This booklet describes a kind of fire that can phase through dimensions, claiming it burns through worlds, leaving numerous scions of flame behind. It's the phase flame, the creation of member number 29, Sir Karl. She was an amazing genius, intelligent, kind, and humble. However, she lived for a mere 29 days on the human calendar. Such a pity. The phase flame shifted into a different phase as soon as it was created. When it returned to this phase, Sir Karl had already passed away. It then continued to shift through phases, making its capture impossible. This booklet describes a kind of fire that can phase through dimensions, claiming it burns through worlds, leaving numerous scions of flame behind. I understand. Tenuous connect. This booklet describes a kind of fire that can phase through. I understand. Tenuous connection. This booklet describes a kind of fire that can phase the kindling of this unique flame. Must be the missing curio that Hurt has been searching for, and Duke Inferno is evidently spawned from it. Somebody was once able to glimpse the traces of the phase flame and obtained a wisp of its kindling. Herta kept it and lent it to Ron May for her research, but the kindling was lost in the process. If Ifrit is a scion of the Phase Flame, then the entire incident is now clear as day. The kindling of this unique flame must be the missing curio that Hurt has been searching for, and Duke Inferno is evidently spawned from it. I fear that this is the truth Adler discovered. Undoubtedly, the Curio Herta asked to find was the Phase Flame, and Adler already discovered the relationship between spontaneous human combustion and the Phase Flame through the concept of energy life forms. I fear that this is the truth Adler discovered. When Schurling said, 
Adler kept muttering about a phrase before he disappeared. I believe this word was actually phase. He saw Member 29 Sir Call's research topic in this booklet and verified his hypothesis. As a scion of the Phase Flame, Duke Inferno would naturally share similar capabilities. Full-on phase shifting may be a bit too ambitious for him, but teleportation? That's likely more his speed. That is the truth of the spontaneous human combustion. The researchers didn't disappear. They were moved. We don't know where the victims went, but Duke Inferno's plan is now clear, and the sudden and consecutive disappearances provided the best environment for chaos to fester. Once the seed of unrest has sprouted, he will then send out an announcement for an imminent attack. It will push the crisis from the dark into the light, catalyzing it into new growth and bloom. The next step would be to ignite the spark. Look at those researchers who disappeared. What would happen if someone realized their similarities? I need say no more. It was all a premeditated trap to stir up chaos on the space station. We're running out of time. This... No, it isn't enough. Indeed, it needs one more spark. What do you mean? If you limit your involvement to this, there's still room for excuses. If it were me, I wouldn't give you the chance. Could it be? Huh? What is it? <laughs> Stay calm. Asta was merely teleported. Her life was not in danger. Based on first-hand experience, I have ascertained that Ifrit's flame is simply a splinter of the primordial phase flame, lacking any phase shift ability. Logic. Asta is still within the confines of the space station. That flame must still be somewhere inside the station. Find it, and we'll find a way to bring her back. <laughs> a splinter, you say? The arrogance of the gifted is charming in its own way. Try then if you must. It seems that Duke Inferno didn't deign to personally grace the space station. He merely cast infernal fire into our midst to wreak havoc among the researchers. When the fire fizzles out, his malevolent plans will vanish without a trace. I will head to Herta's office and activate the folded space in the Curio storage room. With some changes to its parameters, I can use it to block the fire's teleportation routes and seal it inside the station. Mr. Ratio, please go with Miss Trailblazer and contain the fire.
I appreciate the help of the Astral Express. The infernal fire is also a form of energy life form. The imaging device will pick up its trace. Follow it. The way is awash with flames. It must have just teleported. Be careful. Get ready to dash into the fire. See, it's still in the space station. Like Skrullum said, it cannot escape from here. Do you know what to do with cornered prey? Hunt it to the death. Resisting. The fold in the space has shifted. I can deduce its escape route with a mere glance. Nothing to do with you. The flame is getting weaker. Duke Inferno can't maintain it anymore. Thank you. 
your goal. <laughs> Seems like this chase is about to end. It's over. Ignorant fools blindly chasing the firelight, not knowing that the blessings of destruction already lie at their feet. It is little wonder that even the descent of the Savior's Legion was unable to cleanse this place. I will acknowledge my brashness. For now. But next time, expect no intermediaries. I will come to personally offer you the demise of your sins with infernal fire. <laughs> A small fragment of consciousness in there is gone. Duke Inferno has discarded this fire. Oh? No. Hold on. Banal theatrics of stalling. Let's not. Shall we? We enter the storm. To guard and defend! Crush them! Answer me! This battle is unavoidable. You'll pay for this. Lend me your strength. Your answers? Protect me! Resistance is timely. We've entered the storm. You dare attack me! To guard and defend! Crush them! I'm asking questions. Let's make it quick. This battle is unavoidable. Much better. Don't come any- 
dinosaur devils. I'll crush them all! Just a scratch. Rules are made to be broken. Sayas per kip. Knowledge, the measure of truth and falsehood. <laughs> Fail. Let's go. Yeah. Zero points. I'm gonna hold everyone back again. <laughs> You'll pay for this. <laughs> Your answers? We've entered the storm. To guard and defend! Crush them! Test. This battle is unavoidable. <laughs> Let's make it quick. So this is the extent of Miss Green's materializing from the Inferno. Seems like Dr. Primitive wasn't wrong. There's always a weakness. This is our chance. There's always a weakness. I'm asking questions. Answer me. Zero points. You'll pay for this. Got the defense? Test. Fail. The fire is weakening. It's preparing to flee. You, keep your eye out for Lady Asta's whereabouts. S.A.S. per kippy. Knowledge, the measure of truth and falsehood. We've entered the storm. To guard and defend, crush them! <laughs> Don't come with them! Fiends or devils, I'll crush them all! Zero points. This battle is unavoidable. <laughs> Just a scratch. Rules are made to be broken. A 
the storm to guard and defend crush them rules are made to be broken there's always a weakness Lend me your strength! of truth and falsehood. Just fail. This battle is unavoidable. <laughs> Zero points. Enter the storm. To guard and defend, crush them. I'm asking questions. Answer me. Zero points. There's always a weakness. Broken. You'll pay for this. SAS knowledge, the measure of truth and falsehood. <laughs> Fail. Oh. Good work. You did very well. Rest assured, Asta only had a fright. She is recovering in the clinic. While you were chasing the enemy, the security department also found the missing researchers. Affirmation. They are all safe and sound. It was all thanks to Adler. They fell into a spatial curio and could not leave until the Department of Ecology's most knowledgeable curio expert solved it from within. Many of them were shaken by their experience when Arlen found them, but they are otherwise fine.
Yes, it is over. This business is over, and I believe the space station will be able to deal with any internal aftershocks. In Herta's stead, I thank you for your efforts, madam. But there is one mystery that remains unsolved. <laughs> and that is something I must deal with myself. I've been waiting. Fallout from this incident remains. Surely you have plenty of pressing matters to attend to. Or is the safety of the space station beneath your concern? Answer. That is exactly why I came. After all, the principal figure in this whole affair is right here. <laughs> when did you start to doubt me? When one is immersed in academic research, skepticism comes far more naturally than belief. I've had the same bad habit as you since the beginning, Mr. Ratio. I must say, I'm quite honored, Mr. Scrulum. But do explain, why opt for silent wisdom when you already had the pieces of the puzzle? For curiosity's sake. Affirmation. I made the same decision as you, to accompany and observe. Oh, and when did you become convinced? Objectively speaking, aside from some minor spiritual trauma, no researchers were hurt in this attack, which never aligned with the Annihilation Gang's modus operandi. Logic, a third party saved them. Had I not fortuitously acquired a spark of the Phase Flame and intervened in Duke Inferno's teleportation, those people would already be space waste, floating past the windows here. You are more candid than I calculated. but still behaving within your calculations, no? One last question, Scrulum. Genius though you are, can you deduce why I did this? I cannot be sure and can only hypothesize. Helping the weak hints at the merciful instinct of a medical doctor, but maintaining a cool, detached observation reveals the strictness of a scholar. And pulling the strings from behind the curtain 
is akin to laying down the gauntlet to a genius. The ruler of planet Skrulum is indeed well versed in the human mind. It's a pity you're as much in the ivory tower as other geniuses. You still got one thing wrong. To stand aside and observe is the best treatment one can give. There is a disease called foolishness that is harder to cure than any ailment. The path of erudition has neither reason nor logic. While geniuses wander among the stars, the ordinary can't even trace their footsteps. Those less gifted have no choice but to walk alone, enduring a lifetime of tumbles and triumphs. But even a life marked by failure is a life worth living. It is only in moments of solitude and despair, when help is absent, that fools grasp how to pick themselves up. I have a fastidious nature. I cannot stand fools, idiots, or imbeciles. Seeing them fills me with dread. Regrettably, this space station is just like the Intelligentsia Guild, devoid of geniuses and filled with mediocrity. You wish to uproot the researchers' blind worship of geniuses. I am only laying out my questions. As for the answers, they'll find them themselves. Pursuit tinged with negativity is still pursuit, and it is capable of leading us to the right conclusion. For the masses of the mediocre to reach a level of awareness, this is a necessary rite of passage. You are, indeed, more like a medical doctor than a scholar. As for the spark I leave behind... I believe Asta will deal with it properly. It is also a lesson I left for her. With that, I take my leave. I look forward to future encounters with such brilliant minds. Let's hope they're as memorable as those we had today. Hmm. A farce full of trivial concerns. Ultimately, they're just mediocre minds.